says, it's Show Tuesday today, Tuesday the 9th of February. Oh, congratulations to Andy Murray. I just heard on the radio that he's just, his wife's given birth to a little girl. So that's fantastic news, isn't it? So I hope you all made my pancakes today. Uh, we're just getting ahead for, actually I've been scoffing pancakes, but we're getting ahead now for a little bit of a, a nice little Valentine's Day treat. Nice and quick and easy, cheap as usual and homemade. So it's that like extra special touch. So what we're going to do is little Valentine's chocolate trifles. Um, you could do a big one for a family. I think it's really nice to do a, a trifle in a glass bowl so that you can see all the different layers. Um, you, we're going to use these actual prawn cocktail dishes that you can get from any supermarket. Um, really nice and easy to use. So, on with the show. Um, what am I going to use today, viewers? Let's get a spoon. Uh, we're going to have, this is my own recipe, a little bit of corn flour. Probably that much. Um, I'd say that's probably coming up to 25 grams, 20 grams. Let's, ma let's make it 25, about that of corn flour. Okay. A little sugar. We need sugar for this. You know, I'm obviously not very big on sugar by now, but um, I think I'd probably go with two heaped teaspoons of sugar there. Okay, and some cocoa powder. I've got the old Bourneville again. We've got Diana Ross, one woman, one woman the ultimate collection. It's pretty nice. Nice and romantic for Valentine's Day, I think. Um, I would say about two spoonfuls of cocoa powder there. Ain't no mountain high enough. And I'm going to add to that a little bit of milk. Oh, well, and, uh, I tend to never make anything chocolatey without a little dash of vanilla extract. So it's going to be about a teaspoonful in there. Okay, so there we are, a little, little teaspoonful. Don't use too much of this stuff because, as I say, a little does go a really, really long way. And so I'm going to add a little bit of milk to make a paste. So, probably that's enough. A little cold milk there. I think it probably is about a pint of milk in total, maybe just over a pint. I'm going to make a little paste. You can obviously buy supermarket own or um, Pierce Duff's chocolate blancmanges because that's, that's really what it is, chocolate blancmange mix. But it's nice to just be able to do your own. It's so cheap. I can't remember how much a, um, a, a, a big packet of corn flour is, but it's, it's not very much at all. And the thing with the Pierce Duff's, when we get a packet of those, nobody really likes the raspberry one and we often get stuck with that. So um, that's a bit of a shame. So I think it's much nicer to do it that way. Oh, if you do ever get the vanilla one, you can always add some cocoa powder and just make, make a chocolate one from the vanilla. That's a little tip there. That, somebody told me years ago. Right, so we've got a smooth paste now. Okay, so I'm going to now transfer this to the jet. Put it on quite a high heat there. And I'm going to keep stirring. Put the milk in. Um, you know when the pint's in. There's just probably just a little bit more than a pint there. Actually, that's probably about a pint. I'm just going to put a little bit more in there. About a pint and a quarter, I think we've got in there now, maybe even a pint and a half. Um, you'll know if it gets too thick to add a little bit more. And if it looks too thin, you can add a little bit more corn flour and whisk, whisk it in. So here we go, we're whisking in on the jet until this thickens. Oops. And the whisk will bring the lumps out, as usual. It won't take long for that to make a lovely chocolate blancmange, which obviously can be eaten hot. Um, what we're going to do is we're going to whip some double cream in a minute. We're going to pour these into the bowls and let them cool, and whip some double cream and decorate it with. Um, I've got these gorgeous chocolate hearts that I'm afraid I've already been tucking into. Um, they're from Marks and Spencers today, um, so they're, they're lovely. I'm going to use a few for decoration around the bowls as well on, on the sauces, but we're going to put. One in the middle and some flakes as well. Um, so let's keep this going. I don't want it to catch on the bottom. 
and that's looking lovely and that should be perfect for four. Another thing you can do, of course, is if you buy the little individual supermarket panna cottas in the tiny little um, plastic bowls, you can save those and use them. Just don't pour the liquid in when it's too hot. I don't think that's a, a good idea. Um, but that makes a really nice little pudding as well. It really doesn't take long. All it is with this is you've got to think a couple of hours ahead because this is going to cool down at room temperature and then I'm going to put cling film on the little glass dishes and put them in the fridge until they're really nice and set. Okay, so viewers, now this is absolutely beautiful. I, mean, I can eat this. I can eat the whole saucepan full right now. Look at this. Just beautiful. If you wanted to, you could add now, I've added Terry's chocolate, orange cookies broken up before, little bits of brownie into the bottom of the trifle dishes. Particularly if I was going to use this big dish, I might put a lovely layer of chocolatey gorgeousness in the bottom, but I'm not going to do that today because this is going to be just a very basic, um, quick trifle. Not too heavy, because we don't want to look too heavy on Valentine's Day, I think. So here we go. One. Two, oops, a bit messy on that one. I'll probably eat that one later. Three, four, and that really is all there is to it, viewers. And um, we're going to put a cling film on those when they've cooled down, and get them in the fridge. And I'll come back in a couple of hours and show you how to finish them off. Oh, if I can wait that long, I do feel like eating it now. Okay. Oh, thank you, viewers. Then bye. See you later. Hello. Well, it's um, eight o'clock now on Shrove Tuesday, the 9th of February. Two full of pancakes. I just, I don't want to think about it really, and I've got a load left over for tomorrow. But so the puddings have turned out absolutely beautifully. Um, they've been in the fridge for a couple of hours, and we're going to now decorate them. So they've set wonderfully. Um, I've pulled the little skin off because um, people in our family don't really like the skin. I quite like the skin actually, but you can not get a skin if you put a little bit of muslin cloth on the top, but um, I didn't do that this time. So I just pulled the little skin off that forms and now we're going to put, uh, with my sister, the lovely Catherine, we're going to decorate them. So Catherine, if I show you, oh, well, one thing I want to say first before I get cracking, these, um, what I was talking about earlier, I saved these off uh, panna cottas that came, I think, from Marks and Spencers, and that was the same as tiramisu, I think, that you could save these, um, they all dishwash, and then you can make tiny ones. Um, just don't pour the liquid in when it's really, really hot, because I don't think that would be good. It might sort of get the plastic in with the liquid. So just let it cool down slightly, um, and you can use those. I often do that, but we wanted slightly bigger ones today, so we use the prawn cocktail dishes. So here we go then. So this is some cream that we whipped earlier. This is obviously far too much just for these. So there's a bit left over Catherine's have with those pancakes tomorrow morning. I think we'll have, um, gosh, we'll be, we'll be so full of pancakes. But that's all I'm gonna do. Just not necessarily making it completely smooth. Um, I think that's gonna be enough there. And then I'm gonna put one of these gorgeous chocolate hearts in the middle. And this is just some Cadbury's Flake that I squished up in, well you can't beat a Cadbury's Flake can you? I mean doesn't that look gorgeous? So, um, Catherine, so would you like to try your hand at one now? See, oh look at these lovely plates as well, I'm going to put them on there. I think that looks so nice. Pretty good isn't it? Yeah, so do you want to try your hand darling? There you are. Okay. Yeah. Oh, I love this one. Do you remember we used to listen to this when you were little? Yeah. Yeah. That's it. Yep. Probably about three dollops on each, I think. Yes. That's it. Three yeah. dollops about this size. Yeah. 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 Missing you, missing you. That's perfect. And yeah, pop those back in there. And a little and chocolate little heart. Parsley. Yeah. Lovely. Yeah. And then some flake. Yeah. Well, that looks amazing. In fact, shall we call James though? Because that looks right up his face. I think we need so to do a taste test. Yeah. James, are you around? Would you like to come and do a taste test? Yeah, sure. Oh my goodness, let's get you a spoon then. Yeah. Have a seat, darling. There you go. Mm -hmm. Okay, so see what you think of that. Mm. 
go straight for the chocolate heart there. Of course. <laughs> really good. Are you sure you made this yourself? Yes, I did make it. Well, I think that says it all, viewers. Um, so we're going to get stuck into these now. Can't wait. Um, okay, so take care and be kind to each other and we'll see you again soon from Louise's Kitchen. Bye, viewers. Bye-bye.